is a Swan Smart Video Doorbell. A Smart Video Doorbell that can record uh, videos when you're not home. So when someone coming close to the door, it has sensors that it can start recording. Or if someone pressing on the bell button, it will start recording videos and it will send you uh, push notifications. And you can uh, immediately respond uh, to that person and that person may get scared off if they are having some malicious attempt uh, breaking into your house. Uh, at least you get warned straight away if someone coming close to the door. Now, um, this uh, doorbell, um, can make you feel secure when you're not home. Okay, let's unbox quickly and see what is inside. So we've got the doorbell. It's quite large, um, a lot bigger than what I imagined looking at the photos uh, on the web. Now here is a white door charm. There are buttons uh, on the side and you can use it to change the volume or the music. At the back is a battery compartment. It requires two AA batteries. Now here is a USB cable to recharge the doorbell and there are four swirls and four wall mount for the doorbell plus an additional uh, swirl for the door charm. Also included is a security deterrent stickers to put on the windows or on the door. This smart doorbell has a built-in rechargeable battery. It can be recharged with a USB cable. Whereas the door charm, we need to use a battery. So it uses AA battery and you need to uh, replace it once it runs out. The device can receive an input of 2.1 amp, so using a charger like your mobile phone charger is sufficient enough to charge up this smart doorbell. It doesn't come with a USB wall charger, but you can just use the one from your smartphone. For the door charm, we can use a standard AA battery. Here are the features that make this doorbell so smart. So at the top, is the uh, 720 pixel camera. It is a HD uh, camera and around the camera is a infrared light that allows the camera to record at night time. Now just below the camera is the black thermal sensor. It is a true detect technology. It detects when there is uh, someone moving about. Uh, it doesn't detect when there is trees movement. And to the right is a day and night sensor. So this sensor detects uh, when it is day or night and allowing the camera records accordingly. On this side here is a microphone. On the left hand side, this uh, small holder is a microphone. And uh, at the center is a doorbell. So you can press on the doorbell to um, start conversations. And outside is an LED light. At the bottom here is a speaker. The speaker allows you to uh, speak to the visitor on the outside. Now and at the back here is a uh, red reset button that allows you to reset the phone. Now this is a door charm and whenever you press on the doorbell, the door charm will play a song. And it comes with 36 different beautiful melodies that you can choose from. So pressing on the button will go to the next uh, song. So you got 36 ringtone. There are three different volumes that you could choose. If you keep pressing on the volume button, it will go from low to high, then to silent. Now because it has a microphone as well as a speaker, so there is a two-way communication. You can speak to the person inside, and the person inside the house can also speak back to the visitor. Hi, is there no one home there? Hi, who are you? With this one smart doorbell, there is no SD card and there is no cloud support uh, storage. So the only way you can uh, store uh, footage is using the inbuilt memory. So uh, by default, there is an inbuilt memory that allows you to record up to 30 days. So that's pretty cool. You don't need to buy an SD card and you don't need to pay for the uh, cloud server storage so everything is stored locally and you can record up to 
30 days. Now here is a uh, Swan Bus app, and you can see here when I um, log in, I can uh, connect to the doorbell, and in here are all the footage stored on uh, the doorbell with an inside the inbuilt memory, and you can uh, uh, use the search functions to uh, search for any uh, footage that has that has been recorded and stored uh, within the device. You can connect to the doorbell using an Android phone or an iPhone, iOS or uh, Android uh, operating system. Now if you are using uh, an Android, go to Google Play Store and download the app. If you are using an iPhone, you can go to App Store to install the app. The app is called Swan Bus, so simply download and install it. Once it is installed on your device, it's quite fairly to, uh, easy to set up. So just need to set up an account and then log in. Now once you log in, you can uh, click on the activities and here you can see all the recording that it is stored on the smart uh, door, doorbell. And here it is. So you can see I can uh, navigate to the next day or the previous day by uh, simply um, tapping on the navigation bar at the top. So here I'm tapping on the footage and see uh, what it has uh, recorded and I can see who is uh, actually pressing on the doorbell. It does take a few seconds to um, download or to sync to the phone. So there it is, there's the footage of me standing in front of the door pressing or uh, trying to um, press it on the doorbell. So if you tap on the menu key, it pops out a menu and you can uh, have a lot of options to choose. So here are some of the settings that you can uh, do. So you can go through them. They are, it's quite extensive. There are a lot of things that you can do. So you can go through the list and choose what you want to do uh, with the options. Here is a recording of night vision using infrared. It can record up to 4 meters far or 13 uh, feet. And here is a uh, recording of uh, during the day. You can view this uh, video directly from your mobile device. And this is a still image. Hello. So there you have it. If you're after a smart doorbell, just something like a smart smartphone then you probably want to consider um, something like this uh, where it can uh, record uh, pictures and videos when someone approaching your house and it can also allow you to um, uh, view them live and allow you to communicate with them uh, straight away uh, even when you're not home even when you are on holidays from another country you can still actually um, view what's going on uh, in front of your house thanks for watching this video